Hello everybody, my name is Danny and I am going to review how to be a Latin lover. This movie has Eugenio Derbez. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but he's that guy. He's the guy. Salma Hayek, funny. Rob Lowe, he's... I never know what to peg Rob Lowe. He tries to be a comedian, and then he tries to do serious movies, and I guess he can do all of it because he's good-looking, but I don't know. I don't always buy his performances, but... We'll get into that here in a little bit. Kristen Bell. She's this is her kind of movie. I'll say that. Oh, and um there's a couple other surprises in this movie for stars. Um I won't spoil that because you know who they are and you'll be like, Oh, they're in this too. It's a pretty star studded movie. Um I was surprised about that as I was watching it. Um, this movie on the cover says age is a number, sexy is forever. It is rated PG-13. I was pleasantly surprised about that because I know the, in my circle um, of people who would go to a theater to see a movie, which maybe is not that popular nowadays. When we saw this come out, we're like, Oh, guy in his underwear. We're not going to go see that. It's got to be rated R. It's got to be raunchy. It's got to have nudity. It's got to, you know, whatever else. We just thought the worst. We were like, why would you make a movie called that? And why would you have the poster be of some guy in his underwear? And that's all we thought about it. And we, I didn't see it in theaters. And I just saw it just now, tonight. And I'm making a review two minutes after I got done watching it. So my take on it was kind of poor to be fair, and then I went into it, watching it by myself at my place here, and I was really pleasantly surprised. I was surprised with all the stars in it. I was surprised by all the acting, and uh, I'll just tell you, it's kind of an enjoyable movie. So um, it does run almost two hours, and uh, there are some deleted scenes after the movie. I'll just tell you that right now. Um, yeah, I didn't keep, um, much notes on this. Um, usually I do like to keep some notes and have some kind of direction for my review, but I just sat down and watched this. Um, it was very interesting. It has a storyline, though be it not much of one. Um, it's on the same line as sex tape or I'm trying to think um, I just saw Bad Moms a while back Stepsisters um, Bridesmaids you know name all the uh, I just saw that one with um, I mean just any of the Ashton Kutcher movies and Adam Sandler movies and um yeah, just they're all kind of the same humor. We're getting that nowadays where, you know, somebody says, "Oh, I'm going to get you and I'm going to I'm going to lick you and I'm and then everybody somebody's like, "Lick me? What?" Um, just like Trainwreck. We just saw that with John Cena. I mean, he's buying into this humor nowadays too. If he keeps making movies, The Rock is sort of that way. He's like, oh, I will pummel you. I will pummel you like baked bread. And we're like, okay. And that's like, if it's funny for everybody, that's fine. Um, Amy Schumer is making a career out of this. And all these people that are in this movie, they've all made careers off of it. Um, when when Superbad came out, we were like astonished that that kind of humor can just like happen. You know, like, what's up, bro? You just hit me, bro. What are you going to do? Are you going to give me money? I mean, or a bunch of booze. And we all just were like, we were enticed with that movie. We're always going to remember that movie. So this one is not as raunchy. It doesn't have as much language. It's rated PG-13. It's more of a feel-good movie with the family aspect. And... um there's a storyline of the man candy, as it comes to be known as. Um, 
getting dumped and having to learn how to live like a normal person. That's really what it's about and trying to get back to glorification of being rich and living the easy life, which I'm sorry to spoil it, but he does. But he learns how to be a human being along the way since he has family, and that's what the whole family aspect is. I really think more and more that Bridesmaids was an epic movie of our time because it brought in that you can be raunchy, funny, you can have a storyline, and you can make people cry. And I really tell you, this one gets to that point. It's just there's really only one point about the whole movie, and it's about this guy trying to be sexy. And <laughs> it there's not much else. So I can't give it credit for doing much else, but it does try to be a real movie, and I got to give it props on that. So I, Danny, am going to give How to Be a Latin Lover a B minus, straight B. I mean, it's really funny, and all the good people that you are going to recognize in this movie, they wanted to be a part of it and make it something and make it funny and make it feel good and have it stand out. And then I don't think anybody saw it in theaters. I'm going to have to look up the numbers from its opening weekend. But since I, I mean, I just don't think anybody saw it. I mean, I really don't. And so if anybody sees on DVD, I would advise seeing it. It's funny. It's feel good. It gives you a lesson. It has a kid in it who turns out a performance I mean, he's young. We can tell that. He's supposed to be 10, but I think he might be a little older as a human being, you know, in real life, older. Um, Salma Hayek puts in a solid performance. I've always appreciated her on things, and when her name comes up, I watch her movies. So um, the connection between them is really good, and all the – I mean, there's just so many stars in this. You can't really not watch it. So – I do advise seeing it, and uh, I guess that's it for now. If you like my review, hit subscribe. I just uh, make a lot of movie reviews for fun, and uh, I watch a lot of movies, so I make a review for every single one. And uh, I just did a kid's movie before this, so it's kind of the, the depth of the movies I watch. So... Hope you guys follow me. Hope you guys care what I have to say and enjoy your movies. Thanks.